Hey, Billy with PowerCore 360, still talking about effortless power in a golf swing to give us distance, accuracy, and consistency. Today, we're going to talk about a concept. The concept is called Feel It, Fix It. In other words, if you're working on your golf swing, you're trying to create more power, more distance, more accuracy, you've got to go do the work. A lot of athletes, when they can feel it, when they can actually feel the movements, they can actually go fix it. Contrary to that, if they can't feel it, they really can't fix it. You have to be willing to go do the, the work to change your hip turn, to change your shoulder turn, to create more width, to create better connection. You have to be willing to do the work. But the best and fastest way to actually learn movements, golf swing for example, is by feel. There are good feels and there are bad feels. When we train athletes, we give them the feel. If we're talking about the golf swing, we want them to feel what it feels like to perform the proper movements of the backswing, the proper movements of the downswing. What width feels like in the backswing? What does connection feel like in the downswing? What does the uh, right kinematic sequence feel like of the hips turning first, the shoulders, and then the arms adding the club head to the body movement? We want them, if they can go feel the right movements, after a while, we'll stop them from just feeling the good movements and we'll let them go back to their old ways. We want them to feel it the wrong way. Then they can start to distinguish between good and bad. When they can do that, they can start to self-correct. When you can do that, when you can feel the right movements and the wrong movements, then you can start to self-correct. You don't have to go back and spend hours on the range. You can do it in the middle of a round. If you feel like, oh, I didn't do this, I didn't do that, your next pre-shot routine you can go through and be thinking about that. Then when you get over the ball, you've thought about it, connect that into your swing and go. But you have to be able to distinguish between the two. All right, if you can feel it, then you can rep it. If you can rep it and you're focused on creating the right movements, correcting the wrong ones when they come about, then with enough reps and times, you'll be able to fix it. We've developed training tools or harnesses that allow athletes to actually feel the proper movements. Once they feel them, then we actually strengthen those movements. But to begin with, we'll talk about shoulder turn and shoulder turn in the backswing. As a right-handed golfer, I may not have a really good feel for where my shoulders are at in space or when have I completed my turn, when, I, when haven't I? By putting a band on the right shoulder, hooking it up around the torso harness around the shoulders, and actually then going through my backswing, the band is actually helping me turn and then my body and my muscles and my joints are actually feeling what it feels like to go through the proper turn of the shoulders. Once I can feel what that proper turn is like, I can take the harness off and immediately go back into and perform the same motion. Just like for shoulder turn, I now have a band hooked on the hip harness and behind my right hip. When I sit into my address posture and I work on my shoulder turn, my spine, my core, and my hips should be turning in the backswing at the same time. The band actually pulls my right hip and gets it back out of the way. It allows me to load into the elastic sling of the body, and most importantly, I can feel what that's like. I can, once again, I can do a few reps on there. The movement of the band pulling and turning the harness gives my joints and my muscles the feeling for how to do that. Then I want to work on repping that and practicing that. Now without the band. If you like this video, please like it down below. Consider subscribing. If you want further information, go to PowerCore360.com.